This is about the 2020 NEC not offering us a PDF version of the handbook or even the code book, which is completely ridiculous. And I'm going to show you why it totally sucks. And it's the NFPA that is not selling it. I am encouraging everyone to go to NFPA and tell them to bring back the handbook. Let's start at NEC handbook PDF revolution. They do sell a digital version, so that's what they told me when I went there. And the digital version only works when you are online. It will not work on planes where I do a lot of my work. It will not work in the mountains where the internet is not good. I've been to some countries where it will not even go because they block it. And the print version that, that you get of the NEC handbook, it's huge. It's not something that you're going to carry around with you. I um, will show you all this stuff in just a second. Here is the handbook, the hard copy version that's super, super heavy. And we can see at Amazon, it's less than NFPA. It's for $180 right there. And then as we go down here, we can see how much it weighs. And the weight is 6.1 pounds. It is huge. You can use it to knock people out cold there. And we can see that also that there's a couple of people that gave their reviews. And their reviews are, let's see, I'm just going to read them here. Too big to carry, no more PDF access in 2020 handbook. 2020 NEC is impossible to navigate with the online subscription. How can someone in this day and age expect to have to carry around such a big book? The 2017 NEC was accessible via PDF, and that was easy to search and worked offline. The new digital version is terrible. I'm having to just scan the entire NEC. The decision not to offer the PDF this year has caused me much grief. The 2017 NEC handbook digital version was great for doing searches and finding what I needed fast. I hope they bring back the PDF version. And then we see another guy that just did a, a brief one and it said, no PDF version. And if we go here, we can see all the ratings for the, the 2017 NEC handbook, much better. They get, they're up to four stars here, whereas the 2020 NEC handbook was one star. And that's because of not offering the PDF version. It makes people mad. And we saw that the, the, the NEC handbook weighed six pounds. Now we can see that an iPad can weigh about 0.66 pounds. That's almost tenfold difference. I could bring 10 iPads and I could watch movies on them and I could do all kinds of documentation and write books and all kinds of things. I can't watch a movie on a big old piece of wood that they took from a tree and made pulp from it to make the 2020 NEC handbook that weighs more than my whole carry-on bag. And you can still buy the 2017 NEC handbook uh, digital, and that would be the PDF version right there. And that is um, 200 bucks, totally worth it because you get the PDF, you can search. We're gonna show you how you can search it. And we can see that all we can get here is this digital version that's $65 that is totally terrible for the NEC. And it's not even the NEC handbook. So the NEC handbook has all this extra information that we can see. I'm going to go back to the 2017 NEC handbook. And so here it is. And we have all this extra information that you can see. So 2017 NEC handbook has the blue writing, which are explanations, which are great. It even has some extra pictures, colored pictures and things. It's totally awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look for references to Article 230 in Article 705. So I enter in the search 230, and I'm right here on the page, and it is right on this page. There is 230 on this page. And so I'm going to do the search, and this is for the 2020 NEC Handbook digital, inver digital version, and it will not search that page or that article. It searches all the chapters, and it has every chapter where it has a reference to 230. And so then I'm going to go here, chapter seven, and I click on there and it is going to take me to 700. So I don't get to 705. Then what I have to do is I have to scroll down and see where it talks about article 230. And I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling and scrolling. 
and I got to 701. And let me try to see how fast I can get to 705. So there's 705. Let's see what kind of references we have in 705. So I'm going to go through 705. And I can even, uh, and it doesn't give me like the highlighted places where it has 230. So I'm just scrolling through 705. And so far, it didn't give me anything. So we saw before, we, get, we got nothing for 705. When I go to the top of the page here, or we can see some of these places where it does find 230. And it found 230. The first instance was 700.12F, and it just says article 230. So it doesn't show you where it says 230 dot something else. And I am going to go to the NEC, the 2017 PDF NEC now. And then I have 230 right here, and I'm right on the first part of Article 705 right there. And so I'm just going to click Search, and it takes me right here. And so it says, the first instance, 705.12 point of connection, supply side connection, 230.82. It totally missed that because there was the .82. So it couldn't find 230.82 when we were using the 2020 version that's the online. And so I know, because I'm studying very hard, the NEC, that 705.12a in the 2020 NEC is 705.11. So now let's go to 705.11, and we are going to find 230.82 that was missed by the digital version. So here we are at the digital version, and let's go back just to the regular NEC. And I'm just going to show you how laborious it is. So there's 705.11. So we're going to go to Supply Side Connections, and there it is, 230.82. So it says 230.82 right there. And I'm right on this page. I should be able to find that by just going up here, going to 230, and going like that. But instead, it takes me through this big, long process where it's telling me where 230 is and all these different articles. It's telling me 38 different instances. You would think that uh, 230 would show up even more often in Chapter 2 where Article 230 is than more than just five times. That's kind of crazy there, too. And you can just see how this search totally stinks. And then I'm going there, and it's like, oh, I want to find it here. i got to go down to all these places, and I'm going to go down, and it doesn't even find it in Article 705 because it says 230.82 instead of 230. So anyway, I just wanted to show you how stupid it is that they don't sell you the PDF handbook of the NEC as of the 2020 NEC. And so I'm encouraging people to talk to NFPA and beg them to bring back the PDF handbook. I'll pay extra for it. I need it bad. It's very important to be able to go and search the NEC quick. It's very important to have it on your computer, even when you're not online. And just the way that you can search the NEC here is terrible. It's not the handbook. It's some kind of weird version of the code book. The search function is terrible. It doesn't really work. And now it's like, let's say, okay, now I'm going to go back. Let's see where it even takes me. Okay, so I've got to this, and I've got to these lists. And I can't go down, and it's like, as far as I can go here for solar stuff, and solar photovoltaic 6, 690, is I could go just to 690. Now if I go back to the NEC handbook of the 2017 version, which was awesome, you can see here I can go to sections. So I'm going to 690. And I could go to rapid shutdown, and I could go to diff all the different types of rapid shutdowns. I could go to 690.12a, things like that. I can only go to 690 when I'm looking at the code, at the digital version, the new version for the 2020 NEC, all you can get for digital. It's just, you can also get it for free. They make it kind of difficult to get it for free. But it's almost like I'm wondering, like, why did I even pay for this if I can get it for free? So I can go on here, free NEC 2020, and I can get on there, and it is more in line with this free with the the digital version that I had to pay for than the more awesome NEC handbook that I could get earlier in 2017 and before, probably since they invented PDF. So why are we going backwards? Please NFPA, bring back the PDF version 
of the NEC Handbook.